Hi there, this is Alvin from Dr. Wealth. Yesterday, Core Reed or the Capital Pacific Oak US REIT saw its share price drop about 20% in just one day. So in this video, I want to give you my thoughts and share what probably have caused this uh, big drop. And so stay tuned till the end, I'll give you the conclusion. And of course, the reason why um, it has saw its share price dropping was because of an announcement that it made. And this is the timeline. So on 5th Jan 2024, the call read has uh, reported that the results is probably going to release on 31st Jan 2024. And by 30th Jan 2024, the day before the announcement, it said that the results will be delayed, right? And there was no definite date given. There was no alternative date given. And uh, the requirement is that they will still report within 60 days after the 31st December 2023. That will happen to be 29 February 2024, right? A leap year this year. So that is uh, going to be the uh, new timeline that people are sticking to. And of course, investors don't like this uncertainty and hence it caused the share price to drop because people still don't know what's the reason. Uh, uh, there was no reason given why there is a delay to the financial statements uh, or the results for the last quarter of 2023. And uh, at the same time, Core Reed has also reported its valuation for its property holdings because uh, Core Reed among the US, uh, among the REITs listed in the SGX, right, has been impacted by what is going on in the US commercial real estate together with Prime US REIT as well as Manulife US REIT. So uh, these three REITs have that exposure to that sector of the real estate and uh, it has been challenging because post-COVID, the landscape or the work office working landscape has changed, at least for the Americans because they are not really going back to the office and they prefer to work from home. And hence that caused the demand for uh, the US office property to decline and the valuation has also gone down. So for Corey, the valuation has gone down about 6.8% year on year. It is not that bad as compared to, uh, say, Manulife US REIT, which I'll show you the numbers later. And the gearing ratio is at 43.2%, which is within the 50% limit. And hence, that also, there's no issue about uh, this valuation going down and causing the gearing ratio to go up a bit because it's still within the limits. And that lastly, there's also no breach of bank convenience like what uh, many live US REIT has experienced. They couldn't give out dividends because they have uh, broken one of the convenience and um, that has also caused the share price to have a very dramatic sell down. So Core REIT didn't have all these issues, right? The revaluation re wasn't that bad. Um, it is slightly lower right? as compared to the rest of the uh, impacted US REIT. They were not that uh, impacted that we're not as badly impacted okay so hence what's going on why is there a, a, a big drop for core read okay and even if you look at some of these change of trends in the office uh, real estate in, in us you can see um, there are some outflow from what they call the gateway cities like chicago los angeles and new york and there was some growth area in uh, new areas especially in texas state right where houston and dallas see the biggest inflow of all this uh, uh, relocation of office among the uh, u.s companies so there's this is another slide that was taken from uh, Corey's presentation uh, that was done end of 2023 and you can see the Corey have uh, office in those growth areas Okay, and they have less exposure to those gateway cities that were uh, experiencing the exodus. So in percentage terms, Core Reed only had 3% in the gateway cities, right? 3% of its property in gateway cities, while Prime has about 31% and uh, Manual Life has about 60%. So Core is the least impacted uh, from this outflow. And therefore, their valuation decline is not as bad as the other two REIT. And even for occupancy, this is also taken from Core Reed's presentation. Um, occupancy for core has been uh, above 90% even in second quarter 2023 as compared to prime and uh, MUST the uh, occupancy has dropped below 90% to about 85% in the latest uh, reporting second quarter 2023 hence again more resilient right for core so fundamentally wise it is not as bad Okay, and this is the valuation changes uh, based on their reporting period. 
So MEST first reported a 11% decline in valuation in February and Prime reported a 6.7%. And Core, instead of declining, saw a gain in valuation by 0.2% last year. And in June, MUST or Manulife US re did another revaluation, right? And that dropped 15%. Okay, so that was where it really triggered a lot, of, a lot more panic among the US REIT investors. And uh, while Prime and Core didn't do any revaluation because it's not required, right? So MESD did it is likely because they were trying to uh, sell some of the uh, holdings, uh, property holdings, right? So probably they did a valuation then in order for uh, certain deals to go through. But Prime and Core didn't, so uh, no valuation was done. And uh, the latest was reported in Jan 2024. So MEST reported another 8% drop in property valuation, while Core only reported 6.8%. That's why I said it wasn't that bad. Prime has not reported, but I believe the number should be between 8 and 6.8%. Okay, judging from uh, last year's valuation differences, right? Uh, Prime has always been in the middle between the two. So it's not going to be pretty for Prime as well. And that has... Uh, being reflected in the share price. Uh, so the past one year, due to this bearishness in US office properties, uh, all these impacted REITs have saw their share price come down. So Pacific uh, uh, Core REIT has dropped the least, okay, uh, about half, while the other two has dropped more than 68%. And uh, that is reflected in the differences in their uh, fundamentals. Right? So Core is the least impacted. And based on the numbers, I actually feel that it isn't that bad for Core. Right, so um, what's happening? And uh, the biggest worry is that there could be errors in some of these financial figures, right? Some of this reporting, um, just like the AEM, another company listed in SGX, had an uh, accounting error which was due to a uh, uh, data entry error, right? When they were porting to a new ERP uh, system in a company and there was inventory error inputted into the system, so hence that. So there could be errors happening to Corey in this instance as well. So we are not sure what is the real reason, but definitely there must be something that caused them to delay the results. And I believe it has to be uh, related to the figures. Right? Otherwise, you will just release the figures, okay, if it's, everything is all right. And I guess it's also because people have high standards for Corey, considering that Capo is the backer and uh, it's a blue chip company and it's also a domestic link company so investors will have high expectation that they will keep to their timeline in terms of their reporting and in fact the rest of the capital re units have reported their results except Corrid. Okay, so that is uh, something that it will raise the uh, alarm for investors and actually i don't blame uh, investors selling down the REIT because they just don't like that uncertainty they definitely feel that something bad is happening rather than something good is happening okay but of course at this point in time it is all speculation we won't know uh, uh the real reason right for all we know it could be a surprise the number might be better than uh what it initially wanted to release right so um uh, we will know okay what is actually going on of course uh, we will know by 29 february 2024 it's just too early to tell now but we can see some investors are uh, taking the uh, uh, safe side right they want to earn on the safety they probably have sold down the stock um, they just don't want the uncertainty right they just don't know what's going on and i think that is a fair enough uh, response right to this whole episode Okay, it could be better if there was some disclosure to uh, reason why that financial figures were being delayed. Right? I probably hope that SGX also do a query uh, on this um, uh, if possible right? so that investors are not kept in uh, suspense and there's still like a month to go. Right? So this is just the start of February and that is uh, going through Chinese New Year as well, <laughs> which I guess uh, people would know what's going on and people would not be working that period. And that's not a good feeling to have, right? Keeping people in suspense. So hopefully we will get to know the truth uh, sooner than later. So that's what's going on with Corit. And hopefully now you have a better idea. And uh, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.